Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Tuesday afternoon. I've gotten through two of my five calls that I have today for day job. And in between those calls, I have been trying to tweak this setup. Thank you to Dead Broke Barbecue for the suggestion about using a magic arm to try to place this mic a little bit better. This, although it did extend it out, it put it right basically in front of the camera lens and I couldn't use the dead cat. And I noticed to my annoyance that there were a lot of pop, pop, pop. And basically from me hitting the table or from me winging my hand in front of the mic or just pop, 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 you know, whatever, it was making that noise, which was driving me crazy. I mean, at least you couldn't hear the fan, but it was still driving me crazy. I managed to dig through the magical drawers and find another magical arm. I ended up putting the Movo VXR10 on that on the bottom of the Ninja, extending it up and forward a little bit at an angle. So now it's it's over here and pointing towards my face and the audio levels look good. And I'm going to assume that they sound fantastic. I'm gonna take them off the camera here and listen to it before my next call because I've got 45 minutes and I'm gonna see that it, that it does sound okay and we'll be good to go. Now, one of the things that I was doing yesterday just to test is that I was running everything through the Ninja and, and then having to pop the, the, the Ninja hard drive off and, and do all that kind of stuff, which adds a little bit more to me trying to do things other than just popping out the SD card and doing that. So right now I'm recording on the A7 IV but I've got the Ninja on below me just so I can see framing and see focus and all that kind of stuff. And I can also see the peaking of the audio. You know, it's just one more thing to have. Enough about that. Thanks Dead Broke Barbecue for the suggestion about the magic arm. It works perfect. And, and because the magical drawers are just filled with wonderful toys, I was able to find it and get it hooked up. And I think it's a, I think it's a good solution for when I'm in the studio doing this head on shot anyways, which of course I'm not always going to do uh, sometimes I'll just have it sitting on the counter or whatever. We'll figure that out. I'm probably going to stop this right now and go down and play with the mannequin because I just opened the box to see if she was smashed to pieces because of the way the box was. But I want to put her together today and, and you know, just I want to put my mannequin together. I've been waiting for her to get here and kind of go from there. All right, let's go down and play with the mannequin. <laughs> okay, this is just a funny story because I'm a dumb monkey and I don't mind embarrassing myself. So I had this like Trader Joe's chicken with uh, peppers and onions and this like red sauce and all that kind of stuff. And basically I reheated some of it and I made a wrap out of it. It's fairly messy, but okay. So I just went to the UPS store and I'm heading to three ships now and doing my usual, you know, get the hell out of the house thing. And all I can smell is that freaking chicken and peppers. And I was like, what the shit? Why does it smell so strong in here like that stuff? I'm like, I, you know, I don't, what the hell? And I'm like looking around and I was like, God, you know, like did they, did they leave food in the car? Like what the hell's going on? And I like glanced up and saw myself in the freaking rear view mirror. And basically I just had a big like splotch of the, of like the sauce just smushed onto the side of my face and all in my beard. And it, it was like, it's been there for so long that it was literally like starting to crust and break off. I'm dead sexy. That's life with the monkey. All right, so here's that little like wig hat. I guess it's just like a pantyhose thingy that sticks on a head just to make the wig stick a little more. Here's the blonde. the black and the red. Okay, I suck at putting on wigs. Not that I've ever really done all that much of it. Also, the static electricity is just out of control with uh, with everything on here. So I just threw my hat on her just to, you know, to have it on there and, and down. It doesn't look too bad, though. Obviously, I have to oop, I have to trip over shit. I have to get her some clothes. But for the most part, yeah, this could work. I'm going to take a lot of practice, though, because every time I tried to put the wig on, I yanked the frickin' little pantyhose thing off and I'm trying to locate the little thingies 
inside the wig that you're supposed to use to sort of strap it to the, to the head, and I couldn't do those. So for now, she's wearing a hat. All right, this is Maddie. Maddie, say hello to everybody. And if she says hello, I'm just gonna like shit my pants and probably fall over and start sucking my thumb. But okay, that's enough of that for now. <laughs> Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna show you what I did with this. I put the magic arm under the ninja and then angled it up and towards me so that now the microphone is pointed at my face, but it has the dead cat on it and it's forward of the ninja so it doesn't pick up fan noise. And it seemed to be working fine when I tested it earlier today. So all is good. Okay, so another busy day. I spent all morning getting ready for my calls that started at 11, and then I spent all day doing the calls. After the calls were done, I went out, you know, went to three ships, went to UPS store, so on and so forth, the normal stuff. But then I came home and I ended up putting the mannequin together, as you saw. So I named her Maddie, Madeline, after the character in Kolk Shack, the Night Stalker, one of my favorite shows of all time. And it's named after Madeline, the witch, who controls mannequins to do her bidding. So I thought it would be fitting to call her Madeline, but Maddie for short. So um, putting Maddie together was interesting because, you know, like trying to, to twist her together and get it lined up and all that kind of shit was kind of weird. Her arms are pretty tight. The leg is really tight. Then putting the torso onto the legs, it's really loose and she spins way too freely. So I'm gonna have to remember that when I'm picking her up and moving her around. Also the little metal thingy that goes into her, like her calf that then goes down into the base. It doesn't quite line up correctly. It's a little bit crooked, so it makes her lean weird. And it, and it was also really tough to get it to, to bend the right way. So, you know, I mean, it's a $56 mannequin. What do I expect? So I, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a challenge to get those wigs on and keep them on. But right now I like her as a blonde and I put my hat on her and a pair of shorts and a t-shirt that I had laying around. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I took the picture and posted it to one of my Instagrams, my photography Instagram, uh, introducing my new model. So tee hee. All right, at this point right now, I mean, I have been filming all day doing my normal stuff. And right now the battery is at 17%. Again, when I was shooting on the A7C, I could shoot on that thing for a couple of days at minimum the way that I do now and not go through a battery. So this sucker definitely is sucking down the juice. And, you know, I continue to read in the A7 IV group about people that have problems with autofocus and it heating up and, you know, all kinds of weird shit. I can tell you right now, I have been filming. I don't feel any heat coming off of this thing at all, but it is going through battery. So I'm sure that there will be a firmware update that will address the heat, the battery life, and whatever the hell else. That's all you get for today. Although there was a ton. So thanks again to Deadbrook Barbecue for the tip on the magical arm, work like a champ. That's it. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.